is the Calvary Apostolic Church. You're talking about you and your members. Right. Remember? So why don't y'all wear the name of Jesus is what the caller's saying. Right. Why, why don't you call yourself by Jesus if that's the name of every name? Why don't you call yourself something with Jesus in it? Christ, Jesus Church. The yeah. Church of Jesus. Well, we just distinguish ourselves with Calvary and apostolic in the church. Uh, we just, we don't have, you're right, we don't have the name of Jesus. On, but so, so you need to do that. If you're doing something in word or deed, you need to change the name of your church, don't you think? Well, that's not the word or the deed. We're doing it. When we do it, we're doing it in the name of Jesus. Well, when you're saying, though, I'm a member of the Calvary Apostolic Church, where is the name of Jesus? On the body of baptized believers. No, you call yourself apostolic. Well, we're the body of body baptized believers. But baptized not, into Jesus. But you still call yourself apostolics. It doesn't matter what sign it is hanging out on a door. It's the body of baptized believers. Well, why don't you say it's that we're... the church. You, he's you, talking about a physical no, building. No, he's not. He's talking about, he's talking about the well, body not the of church, believers. The church is not... Well, we, we got the name of Jesus on, a, on us. No, you don't. We're you're apostolic. Spiritual. You just said you're apostolic. Well, that's just another name. You're a Christian too, and you're a Church that's of right. Christ, right? That's right. I'm a member I'm of a the Christian Church of Christ. Too. No, you, you're apostolic. Well, I'm a Christian. I, I'm a member of the Church of Christ that Jesus built. You're that's a what you say. Apostolic I mean, Church. You're, you're saying that, but, but see, I'm it not, makes you no different more than I am. No, I, I'm, at least I'm wearing. At least I'm wearing the name of Christ. No, you're not. The name yes, of Christ is Jesus. The, Christ, Christ is a title. Christ is His name. He's not, he said, Mark 9, 38, I am Christ. Now, the I'm name, it, like name, I said, it doesn't matter name, what name not, or what you got on the end of that post not, on the streets of body of baptized believers. That's what I'm trying to answer you with. All right, all right. The body of baptized believers. All right. got to have the name of Jesus. All right, thank you, caller. You're going to work from the Lord. Hello. Hello. Yes. I don't have a question, but my, my thing is... Turn, turn your TV down a little bit. Hold on just a second. We're, we're wasting precious time here. I know. Hold on just a second. I'm going to put you back on hold. Uh -uh, I'm ready. Okay. My thing is with you. Um, I, I, I really just think you, you don't accept the name of Jesus. We must be baptized in the name of Jesus in order to be saved. Now, now why do you say I don't accept the name of, of the Jesus? name given under heaven whereby we must be saved. Now, ma'am. So if you don't take the name of Jesus, you might as well quit right now. Now, ma'am, have you heard me say I don't take the name of Jesus? I've been say, defending the name of Jesus. The question that we are discussing is this. Does it have to be said in order for it to be done in the name of Jesus? Now, we just talked about talking about accepting the name of Jesus. The previous, if you'd like the, to make a call, the please previous, hang up and try again. The, the, previous, the previous caller just asked, about the church Marty's in, and, and he doesn't have the name of Jesus on his church. Now, I don't know why you say, I don't believe the name of Jesus. Good morning. All right, you're on the word of the Lord. I don't know why she... Um, James, James Garfield, James Marty, Marty, Mr. Marty. Turn, turn your TV down, please. I'm going to put them on hold, come back to them. Uh, you're on the word of the Lord. Please turn your TV down when you call in. Yes, uh, I think that, that the other guy, he, he's so right, but you need to be calling on the Lord in your mind or heart or somewhere when you're doing these actions. And it seems like if you was with a crowd, you would say his name out loud so all of them people would know whose name you're doing this under. And surely you should let them people know, which you can let them know at the back of the church or whatever, but you're still doing it under his name, I think is what we're trying to say. And don't it say somewhere in the Bible about doing this arguing that y'all are down doing up here? Are you are you arguing with us arguing? No, I'm just saying Well you said you seem to you seem to be calling and criticizing what we're doing and you know and, and my statement about I don't have a problem telling people about whose authority we're doing something in. But one of the scenarios we talked about earlier was what if it's just two people? And you've already told them, you see? It, it's not, I, I'm still uh, uh, pressing that it's not what you say, it's what you do. If you're doing something the Lord commanded, then you're doing it in His name, whether you say that name or not. And I think I've given plenty of, of scriptures to show that. But ain't you saying it in your heart or mind? 
I, I know I don't have to say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in my mind, whatever in order to be done in, in the name of Jesus. If Jesus said to do it, and I do it, then I'm doing it by His authority. Okay? Okay, but you're calling on Him in your heart and mind, talking and thinking about Him, right? When I'm calling on Jesus, I'm obeying what He said do. Do you want to... Uh, and you're thinking about it in your heart and mind, right? When I, when I respond in obedience to the Lord, I am doing so in the name of Jesus. Whether I say the name verbally or not. You can comment on that. All right, thank you for your call. Thank you, brother. Omar, do you want to say anything about what he just said? Comment on it? Or what he just what? said about it? Yeah. Um, I just believe that uh, it's important to let this world know uh, who we believe in. And I, I'm, not a, I'm not ashamed of the name of Jesus. I don't believe James Oldfield is either. He just doesn't believe that you have to say anything when you baptize people. But it doesn't mean... That he, because he says that, he says the burden of proof is on me. I guess it is an affirmative. But I showed you where they did baptize people and I did, let I me mean, not baptize people, but I did show you where they did use the name of Jesus. And what I did show you in Acts 2.38 where they commanded them to be baptized in the name. So I'm just foolish enough, I guess, to believe that according to the Scripture, that we're going to do something in the name of Jesus. We're going to do it by saying the name of Jesus because the Bible tells us that we're to do it in Christ's name and the name of Christ is Jesus. So the name of the Lord is okay, Jesus. But still, just because they just because they said it sometimes doesn't mean they always had to say it. And that's that's just what, because it's not there or omitted. You just believe it doesn't mean that they didn't say it at all. All right, you're on the working Lord. Uh, yes, I am wondering how come James doesn't want to say Jesus' name when he baptizes. It's not a matter of don't want to. What what we're determining is do you have to. Well, that's it, what saved me, Jesus. What, what, what if you baptize someone who's deaf? What about, how, how are you supposed to know how to be saved? There's so many people, they believe in Buddha, they believe in Muhammad. You've got to know who you're serving now, and get baptized in that. But ma'am, here, here, here's my point though, and I, and I guess I'm not making myself clear on this. Do you think that I'm not going to tell people who they must submit to before they get to the baptistry? I don't know. You see? You're I mean, if I'm pre what motivates someone to be baptized? Do you think someone's going to walk in off the street and say, I mean, Marty, tell me how many times have people just walked in off the street and said, you know what, I heard y'all baptized, I want to be baptized. That's I don't know of anybody, but I know plenty of people that when I preach I'm Jesus Christ is Lord, excuse Jesus. me, when I preach that Jesus Christ is Lord, and I tell them that Jesus said you must be baptized for the remission of sins, and they say, you know what? That's what I want to do. I want to submit to the Lord. I have already told them Jesus is Lord. I've told them He has the authority. And therefore, when they obey His commands, they're doing so in His name. And like I said, if someone is deaf, how do you, I mean, do you have to say it to them if they can't hear you? I would say it. And a question, another thing, well, that, she said, why are you afraid, I'm not to, afraid. To, to say the name of Jesus? Why is it you don't want to say the name I don't, of Jesus? It's not that I don't want to say it. I'll tell you the reason why is because they don't believe that Jesus is the mighty God in, uh, in flesh. Well, that's going to be part of the one world religion that we're going to have to stay away from. Well, I, I believe this. You know, Marty's saying that I don't believe in the name of Jesus. I believe in the name of Jesus. Marty believes that the power is in simply speaking the word. I mean, if, if it was up to Marty, Marty, why don't when you, when you preach, why don't you just say, Jesus, 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 and let everybody bow down to it? Yeah, but the yet you preach faith. repentance, and you preach belief, and you preach baptism, and you preach what else? All, you preach all these other things instead of just saying Jesus. If Jesus is the only thing people need to know to be saved, why don't you just say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus? Well, see, the reason why James does that is because he don't, he don't preach the name of Jesus. He don't want to say it because... He believes in the doctrine of the Trinity. And the Bible says in St. John chapter... Uh, it tells us in St. John chapter 8 that Jesus said, If you believe not that I am He, you shall die in your sins. Before, because, and the reason why is because if you don't know who Jesus is, you'll never be baptized in His name. 
Well, I, I think I have established clear enough for anybody who's been watching my program. I certainly believe in Jesus, and I certainly believe in preaching the name of Jesus, that is, the authority of Christ, and that you must submit to Him. Marty simply says, all you have to do is say Jesus, and really, that's not much different than what uh, the, the Baptist or whoever else say, just call, call on Jesus and be saved. I mean, they say, Jesus, uh, ex uh, receive me into your heart. No, sir. And that's what they believe. Well, that's not far from what you believe. You don't want to come to me to say that I don't be I'm believing like that because... Well, but uh, you're, you're saying it's all in, in saying the, the name. If, it, if the power is in saying the name... Well, the Baptists have got some good points in Scripture. Okay. There's well, a lot of truth in what Baptists preach. Well, but you're still saying the power is in saying the name, and I'm saying the power is in obeying the person who gave the orders. That's well, what the I'm power saying. is in. You said, what sense is it to say the name? Well, what about uh, uh, Naaman when he went down to the water and, and uh, uh, Elijah told me he had to dip seven times? If he had dipped six times, would it have been. No, he wouldn't clean? because he didn't obey. Okay, to obey is to do it in the name of Jesus. No, to obey is to do what he said. Just like for Naaman to obey was for to you do to what obey is to do it in the name of Jesus. No, to if I if I obey but what you won't said, do it in the name. If I if I do what Jesus said, I've done it in His name. You're on the word of the Lord. Uh, yes, uh, you both agree that uh, is, is the word, right? I'm sorry. Would you both agree that Jesus is the word? The word became flesh. In other words, yes. I do. And uh, if if you both turn to uh, Revelation nineteen thirteen. I believe we've. Shown, I believe I had this verse up there. Go, go ahead with your question, caller. So we. Can... Uh, it says, and he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. So my question is, if someone were to baptize in the Word of God, is that an acceptable baptism to each of you, since his name is the Word of God? Well, his name is not the Word of God. Well, then his name is called. Wrong. His name is called the Word of God. Yeah. Okay. His name. Isaiah is... nine and six tells us that for unto us a child is born, and unto us a son. His name, correct? Is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful. But his name is not Wonderful. His name shall be called Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. In the Prince of Peace. Now, this son is born, his child is born, his son is given. His name should be called Everlasting Father. That just tells us that it, what the, the authority of that name is, that he's the Everlasting Father. He shall be called Counselor, but his name's not Counselor. He shall be called Emmanuel, which means interpret as God with us. But his name is not Emmanuel, his name is Jesus. Okay, okay so now if you what, baptize in the name of Yahshua, would that be correct? No, sir. Well, that is his name, is it not? Well, look, yes, Zechariah is. chapter 14 and verse 9 says that in that day the, there shall there be one Lord, and his name shall be one. All the names in the Old Testament, uh, when we, he, they said, Thou shalt call his name Jesus when he was born, uh, that we find he's got that one name, his name is Jesus. <clears throat> That's now, the only saving name. Go ahead. Well, now, here, here's, here's what I would say, caller. Uh, Marty said at Revelation 19 13, uh, his name is not. The Word of God, because it was His name is called the Word of God. Well, in in Matthew one twenty one, they shall call His name Jesus. Well, there His name was called Jesus. Now Marty's going to say, yeah, His name was, was Jesus because it was called Jesus. But my, uh, Revelation nineteen thirteen is not the Word of God because it was called. Now, okay, if it's well, called if He's called Jesus in Matthew one twenty one, why can't He be called the Word of God in Revelation thirteen? 1913. Well, we know actually what his name is, Jesus, right? But his name is the Word of God. Is too. his name the Word of God? His name is the Word of God. So you don't Do believe you, his you, name is Jesus? You don't believe his name is the Word of God? What name? There's one Lord. I think Zechariah what? chapter 14 I, and verse 9. And, and there shall be one Lord. And I want to and his name shall be one. All right. And in, and in Zephaniah 319, that same word name is in reference to. Uh, it's you. The same word name is translated fame. It's also translated renown. It's also translated famous. That is, God was establishing a name that would be known by all nations. It wasn't the name Jesus. It was simply saying His name was going to be famous. Same word in Ecclesiastes 7.1. A good Jesus. name. A good name is, is uh, 
is to be desired. We're talking about his reputation and his fame. That's what we're talking about. Now, I'll I tell you what, in response to the caller's question, I believe that his name is the Word of God and his name is Jesus. Marty doesn't think that. Marty believes his name is just Jesus. I believe his name is called the Word of God. Well, I believe his name is called Jesus. I believe his name is called Jesus. Well, why don't you believe Revelation nineteen thirteen and not and, and just well, like you believe Matthew? The baby that was born in Bethlehem was it word of, was it called his name the Word of God or was it Jesus? It was Jesus, but he was also the Word of God. Okay, also that's Emmanuel. all I want to get. To. Also Emmanuel. Well, also but his name was Jesus. Well. How come, that was how the name. Want one name. What name? Want okay. Why do I want one name? Because that yeah. name is exalted above every no, it's not. name. No, yes, it's it not. is. Philippians two and nine. That's not. Not tells you know, us that that name is exalted okay. above every name. Okay. Let's, so that's the name of God. I, w I want you to notice something. I won't go back to it. But uh, uh, Philippians two nine, the name above every name is not Jesus. It's Lord. If you look in verse ten, see Marty likes to take one verse, but the next verse says. Uh, uh, the next verse uh, plainly says that that it uh, that they should uh, uh, it's, it's referring to uh, Lord and I'm, I know we're we're running out of time. They tell me two minutes over here on, on our clock. Uh, Wherefore God uh, how to exalt him and give him a name above every name, which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and, every, and the things in heaven, things in earth, things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God and the Father. Now, if that's the name above every name, Marty, then why not uh, Acts seven fifty nine? What about the Bible that? says Jesus, and that's a reference to Joshua. Now, could you baptize in the name of Joshua? That's the same name. Well, Joshua is the Greek word equivalent. But we're talking about a different man. We're talking about a man named Jesus, called Jesus. Now, could you baptize in His name? So I'm baptizing them. Well, I'm not going to baptize in this any name. I, that's why they extenuated the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, so you know what oh. Jesus there was talking about. Oh, so really, the power is in Christ of Nazareth rather than Jesus. Well, Christ of Nazareth is just titled because that's what separates Christ him is from Jesus Nazareth is the on the street. street. That's what, what separates him from just Jesus out here on the street. So, really, the name above every name is not Jesus. The name that separates you from every name is. Christ or Lord. You said the name of Jesus wasn't exalted above every name. That's I said a minute ago. I says Lord right here. Well, it says Jesus verse, is the verse, name. Verse 11 says Lord. above every name. Verse, well, Lord I, is what's exalted. No, the Lord, Lord is the Lord, Lord means exalted. ruler. That's Lord, Lord exalted. is a title. Who, who uh, is? Who is? Who's what? Exalted. Lord. Jesus. Okay. But now, but now I want to notice this. Uh, well, we don't have time because we're running out of time here. We've got to have one more phone call. Up, All right, you got you got. Uh, yes, seconds. I just want to ask you: uh, Are you saying that you believe uh, that? How would you apply, have the blood applied to your life if you don't call out the name of Jesus over somebody when you baptize them? How do you think that blood is applied to your life by thinking it? Do you think the blood is applied when you call out the name of Jesus? Yes, it is, because... Uh, Why do you believe the blood's applied when you call out the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus, the blood that is in the name of Jesus. So, remission of sins. But the, the only way that you can get your sins remitted is by the blood, and the only way the blood is applied is in the name of Jesus. Now, now you I have a question that... to ask you before you say anything. If you were standing in the mm -hmm. middle of the road, and there was a truck, a semi-trailer coming down the road, uh, and and somebody said, that truck is going to run you down, it's going to take your life, would you stand there in the middle of the road and do nothing or say nothing, or would you jump out of the road and, 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 and get out of the way and say, uh, yell, scream, do something? I, I, would, I would just get out of the road. You would do I, something. I would get out of the road. Yes, you would. Yeah. You would do something. That's right. That's, that's right. Play a baptism. Yeah. If you believe right. you're going to die here. Ma Ma'am, we're way out of time, and, and you've had your question. And so uh, I appreciate it. Uh, listen, here, here's here's my statement. You want to say that the blood is applied when you call out the name of Jesus? Well, Marty, I thought you said baptism for the remission of sins. It if is baptism, in the name of Jesus. If baptism, is for, so it's really the name and not and not being baptized. Water alone don't save you. I didn't say water alone. If baptism is for the remission of sins, 
then it's baptism for the remission of sins. It's not calling on the name of Jesus. If well, it's the name of Jesus... Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. If the blood is applied... Why does it say that if, if, if it's not blood, If the blood is applied when you call the name of Jesus, then all you need to do is say the name of Jesus. And that's just like the rest of the denominational world. So you're saying the and name of Jesus is not important. Then. I'm saying the name of Jesus because is important. Because it's in there. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus but Christ. If, but if I'm baptized in the name of Jesus, I don't have to say Jesus. I may say it. I may not say it. Well, they brought the whole, they said all Jerusalem. He filled all Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's name upon us. No, his blood. His blood. And, his they was, and they filled Jerusalem with the doctrine. Not, 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 and they were questioning words blood. and names. Oh, right. I was a question of you words have, and names. You have, what, how many, how many minutes? Five minutes. Hmm? Y'all have much time? We need five minutes. Please. All right, Mark, you got five minutes to wrap up or eat any. Last comment you want to say? Well, the name of Jesus, the reason why we extenuate it is it's a confession that when we're baptized is when we say in the name of Jesus, it's a confession that we believe who Jesus is. That uh, the Bible says that we know He is the Father in creation. We believe He's the Father in creation, the Son in redemption, and the Holy Ghost in regeneration. We believe He created the world. The Bible said that He was in the world, St. John 1 and 10, and the world was made by Him and the world knew Him not. He came into His own, His own received Him not, but as many as received Him, to them gave He power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name. And we really believe on that name. Uh, we, we, the Bible says, He that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name. Well, we believe the name, that we believe Jesus is the Father, because Jesus said, Have I been so long? When Philip said, I'm, When Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto me, uh, is cometh to the Father except by me. Philip, then he said, From henceforth you know him and have seen him. He said, Philip asked him, said, Show us the Father in St. John 14 and verse 9. Jesus said, Have I been so long time with you, Philip? Yet thou hast not known me. He that has seen me has seen the Father. So we see, uh, you can't look at me and say, You can see my Father. So we believe in the Son is the name that Jesus is the Son. We believe He's the Holy Ghost, all three in one, because Jesus said that uh, He will not leave us comfortless after He spoke about the Spirit coming back. St. John 14, He said He will not leave us comfortless, but He would come to us. He will not leave us orphanos, which means fatherless, and the Greek word for comforter. So he, He's not going to leave us orphans or fatherless because He's our Father. He's coming back as the Spirit. The comforter that he's going to sin, he's going to sin in his name. Uh, so we believe the importance of saying, uh, obeying what the Scripture said. Where I guess you could say we're gullible enough to believe that we're going to obey what the Scripture says and do it in the name of Jesus. Uh, James has an argument against that. Says there's got to be a burden of proof is on us to, to prove it, which I've showed you before that they did say the name of Jesus. And he agreed with it, but I don't know why he continually wants me to show a burden of proof. But when I showed it, they did uh, say the name of Jesus. And uh, so we're just con concluding with this. We know that Jesus is uh, the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost because Jesus said to do uh, baptism in, his, in the name. And we find that they did it all in the name of Jesus without discrepancy. Several instances in the Word of God, book of Acts, Sure, there's times it's left out. Baptism was left out. Repentance was left out. Just because it was left out in some scriptures doesn't mean we don't have to repent. Just because it said a believer was added to the Lord doesn't say nothing about baptism doesn't mean we don't believe baptism because it don't say nothing about the name of Jesus doesn't mean we don't believe that you have to say the name of Jesus. We know that they did. We know the apostles said in the name of Jesus. So I, my, my contention is that they said in the name of Jesus every time they baptized and they thought it was important. Uh, they said through His name and faith in His name has made this man strong whom you now see and know in Acts chapter 4. It's through His name is where we get our strength. It's where we get our healing and everything. And we believe when, there's something about the name of Jesus when you speak it over the fevered brows. I still believe there's healing in the name of Jesus. I still believe there's remission of sins in the name of Jesus. That's my contention today. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to James to close it out. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> okay. Well, friends, I, uh, before I wrap up here, I just want to make this one more point here uh, in reference to what we've been saying. Matthew 28, 19, Jesus said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now, if 
if what Marty is saying about in the name of Jesus, I mean, simply saying they baptized in the name of the Father, in the name of Jesus, means they said that, then why wouldn't it mean that why wouldn't Jesus have meant for them to say this when he said baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? I mean, the statement's the same. The only difference is the words that are used baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But yet Marty says when he simply sees them doing something and it stated they did it in the name of, the, of, of Jesus, he says that's what they, they uh, uh, said. Well, this phrase is the same. I don't know why Marty won't accept that you can baptize someone uh, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit just like you can baptize someone in the name of Jesus. The phrase is the same. Now, here's what we want to recap very quickly. Uh, here's what we have shown, friends, in the name of Jesus. That statement. Marty says it's the name that must be spoken. And friends, while the Bible does record them saying this on occasion for, for certain instances, it nowhere shows that it must be done in order for it to be an authorized action by Christ. You see, the power is not in the word of Jesus or saying the, saying the word Jesus. It's in doing what Jesus said. Now, we've shown miracles done in the name of Jesus. They were not always done while saying it. We showed that. Repentance was preached in Jesus' name, but the phrase was not always spoken. As a matter of fact, in Acts 17 there, I still bring it back up. Paul did not say, repent in the name of Jesus. Now, Jesus has more names than just Jesus. We showed the Word of God. We showed His name was Emmanuel. He was called Christ. He was called Emmanuel. He was called the Word of God. But yeah, Marty still says that's, that's the name that you must use. Why not use His other names? You see? It's because, friends, the authority, the authority is not in the uh, simply speaking a phrase, a magical abracadabra. It's doing what Jesus said. Now, here's the root of the problem. And this is really why we want to, we want to bring this up. It's because this, this idea of saying Jesus or Jesus only, it's really a product of a false doctrine called one of the Godhead. Now, Marty mentioned that a couple times, and we didn't really get into it because I think he and I both agreed that it was not a, a, a road wanted to go down at this time. But the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, Marty says, are all Jesus. And again, that's just something that, that needs to be proven. That's something we need to be examined. So, and, and Marty stated this number, numerous times. So this is really why this doctrine of baptizing in the name of Jesus has come about because of a, of a false doctrine about only one person in the Godhead. And we'll be glad to examine that. As a matter of fact, uh, I, I'm hoping that Marty will come back. Now, uh, also this idea, here's another thing that I would like for us to, to examine at a later date. But, you know, the idea that miraculous gifts are still for us today. All of these are doctrines that the apostolics and the United Pentecostals and others believe in. And Marty's been good enough to come and, and, and defend those doctrines. Well, what about this one? We'd like to discuss this as well. And I've invited Marty back. I don't know if he's... Um, I hope he's still there. Uh, but, I, but I hope we'll uh, get a chance to see if, if uh, uh, this is something we can discuss. But all these come down to authority. It all comes down to what does the Bible authorize today. And, and that's what we have been discussing tonight really is by the authority of Christ. Now, I want to say this, friends, and I'm not saying this mean or harsh in any way, but I do uh, say this uh, with, with all sincerity and emphatically. You know, one thing that could be done to convince everybody about any doctrine that Marty or any of the other uh, uh, of, the, of, of similar beliefs, similar faith beliefs, is this. You know, the Bible says in Acts 14, 3, Long time therefore abode they speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave testimony unto the word of His grace, and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. Now friends, I submit this. And again, I'm not making light. I'm, just, I'm being very serious here. If God would give testimony by signs and wonders by the hands of Marty or any apostolic or United Pentecostal or anybody of, of like faith, if they would, if, if by their hands, if God would grant them signs and wonders, you know what? I would believe that you had to say the name of Jesus when you baptize someone. I would believe one in the Godhead. I would believe any doctrine they preached if testimony could be given by their hands from God to, to uh, verify their word. I would believe it. I would believe it. And so that's what we're, that's what we're uh, uh, saying. So we hope, we hope uh, to let you know if we're going to get to do this again or not. Friends, I really appreciate you uh, watching. And we have uh, run out of time. Appreciate you staying around. We had a little difficulty in, in, in the beginning.
But we got it all worked out, and uh, Marty was trying to uh, bring his computer, and I, I hate that he didn't get to use it because I know it's better when everybody can see the Scriptures. And so, uh, uh, But anyway, maybe next time we'll have this worked out. Friends, thank you for watching. We hope it's been productive because we know that examining the Scriptures together is something that certainly God wants us to do. So appreciate Marty coming, and uh, we look forward to uh, being with you again uh, next week. Until next time, friends, you'd like to contact us. Here's our information. But until then, never uh, accept what someone is saying or doing as authority. Always insist that they give you a word from the Lord. Have a good night.